Psalm 69 To the chief musician Fawn Shashinim, a psalm of Dodd. Psalm me, O God, for the waters are come in vento my cell. I sink in deep mire, where there is no standing, I am come into deep waters, where the clouds hour flow me. I am weary of my crying, my throat is dried, mine eyes fail while I wait for my God. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of mine head. They that would destroy me, being mine enemies wrongfully, are mighty. Then I restored that which I took not away. O oh God, Thou knowest my foolishness, and my sins are not hid from Thee. Let not them that wait on Thee, O Lord God of hosts, be ashamed for my sake. Let not those that seek Thee be confounded for my sake, O God of Israel. Because for Thy sake I have borne reproach, shame hath cowered my face. I am become a stranger vento my brethren, and an alien vento my mother's children. For the zeal of thine house hath eaten me, VP, and the reproaches of them that reproach thee are fallen upon me. When I wept and chastened myself with fasting, that was to my reproach. I made sackcloth also my garment, and I became a prob to them. They that sit in the gate speak against me, and I was the song of the drunkards. But as for me, my prayer is been told thee, O Lord, in an acceptable time. O God, in the multitude of thy mercy here, in the truth of thy salutation. Delear me out of the mire, and let me not sink. Let me be delivered from them that hate me, and out of thetty pay waters. Let not the water flood our flow me, neither let the deep swallow me, VP, and let not the pit shut her mouth upon me. Hear me, O Lord, for thy loving kindness is good. Turn vento me according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. And hide not thy face from thy serient, for I am in trouble. Hear me speedily. Draw nigh vento my cell, and redeem it, delir me because of mine enemies. Thou hast knowing my reproach and my shame and my dishonor, mine adversaries are all before thee. Reproach hath broken my heart, and I am full of honies. And I looked for some to take pity, but there was none, and for comforters, but I found none. They gall me also gall for my meat, and in my thirst they gall me vinegar to drink. Let their table become a snare before them, and that which should how benefit for their welfare, let it become a trap. Let their eyes be darkened that they see not, and make their loins continually to shake. Power out thine indignation fawn them, and let thy wrathful anger take hold of them. Let their habitation be desolate, and let none dwell in their tents. For they persecute him thou hast smitten, and they talk to the grief of those whom thou hast wounded. Add iniquity vento their iniquity, and let them not come into thy righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of the lying, and not be written with the righteous. But I am poor and sorrowful, let thy salutation, O God, set me VP on high. I will praise the name of God with a song, and will magnify him with thank a skiing. This also shall please the Lord better than an ox or bullock that hath horns and hoofs. The humble shall see this, and be glad, and your heart shall lie that seek good. For the Lord heareth the poor, and despiseth not his prisoners. Let the hoen and earth praise him, the seas, and every thing that moveth therein. For God will soften, and will build the cities of Judah, that they may dwell there, and how it in possession. The seed also of his servants shall inherit it, and they that lew his name shall dwell therein. Psalm 70 To the chief musician, a psalm of Dodd, to bring to remembrance. Make haste, O God, to delir me, make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my cell. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion that desire my hurt. Let them be turned back for a reward of their shame that say, Aha, aha. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. And let such as lose thy salutation say continually, Let God be magnified. 
but I am poor and needy, make haste unto me, O God, thou art my help and my deliverer, O Lord, make no tarrying. Psalm 71 In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust, let me nor be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness, and cause me to escape. Incline thine ear vento me, and saw me. Be thou my strong habitation, wherein to I may continually resort. Thou hast you in commandment to saw me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the frighteous and cruel man. For thou art my hope, O Lord God, thou art my trust from my youth. By thee how I been a hold in VP from the womb. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowels, my praise shall continually of thee. I am as a wonder vento many, but thou art my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, and with thy honor all the day. Cast me not off in the time of old age, forsake me not when my strength faileth. For mine enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my cell take counsel together, saying, God hath forsaken him, persecute and take him, for there is none to deliver him. O oh God, be not far from me, O oh my God, make haste for my help. Let them be confounded and consumed, that are adversaries to my cell. Let them be coward with reproach and dishonor, that seek my hurt. But I will hope continually, and will yet praise thee more and more. My mouth shall shew forth thy righteousness, and thy salutation all the day, for I know not the numbers thereof. I will go in the strength of the Lord God, I will make mention of thy righteousness, you in of thine only. O God, thou hast taught me from my youth, and hitherto how I declared thy wondrous works. Now also when I am old and gray-headed, O God, forsake me not, until I have shewed thy strength into this generation, and thy power to Uri one that is to come. Thy righteousness also, O God, is very high, who hast done great things, O God, who is like unto thee. Thou which hast shewed me great, and sore troubles, shalt quicken me again, and shalt bring me VP again from the depths of the earth. Thou shalt increase my greatness, and comfort me on your side. I will also praise thee with this psaltery, you and thy truth, O my God. Bento thee will I sing with harp, O thou holy one of Israel. My lips shall greatly raise when I sing vento thee, and my cell which thou hast redeemed. My tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness all the day long. For they are confounded, for they are brought vento shame, that seek my hurt. Psalm 72 A Psalm for Solomon Do the king thy judgments, O God, and thy righteousness vento the king's son. He shall judge thy people with righteousness, and thy poor with judgment. The mountains shall bring peace to the people, and the little hills, by righteousness. He shall judge the poor of the people. He shall saw the children of the needy and shall break in pieces the oppressor. They shall fear thee as long as the sun and moon endure, throughout all generations. He shall come down like rain upon the mowing grass, as showers that water the earth. In his days shall the righteous flourish, and abundance of peace so long as the moon endureth. He shall how dominion also from sea to sea, and from the rayur, unto the ends of the earth. They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him, and his enemies shall lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of the isles shall bring presents. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall offer gifts. Yea, all kings shall fall down before him, all nations shall serve him. For he shall deliver the needy when he crieth, the poor also, and him that hath no helper. He shall spare the poor and needy, and shall saw the souls of the needy. He shall redeem their soul from deceit and violence, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. And he shall loo, and to him shall Jewin of the gold of Sheba. Prayer also shall be made for him continually, and daily shall he be praised. There shall be an handful of corn in the earth upon the top of the mountains. The fruit thereof shall shake like Lebanon, and they of the city shall flourish like grass of the earth. His name shall endure for you. His name shall be continued as long as the sun, and men shall be blessed in him. 
all nations shall call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who only doth wondrous things. And blessed be his glorious name for you, and let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and Amen. The prayers of Dawud the son of Yes are ended.